Hello and welcome to another Hexarchy playthrough. Today's daily challenge is to control 20 hexes and to eliminate one enemy player. Which might as well just mean eliminate one enemy player. Considering how fast the AI spreads its borders, you just need to claim one city from them before they settle their second one to eliminate them and get all their tiles. Obviously if you burn their city instead of claiming it, then you would not get the tiles, but why would you do that? So we're playing as Persia, which is very relevant because we want to be using the combination of Satrap and Barracks to get to our enemy. There's only one enemy on this island. It's kind of like in this corner sandwich between mountains. So it's very hard to reach them, which is why we'll use the, the Barracks to get to them faster. So we want to be claiming this tile get close to them. I've kind of skipped through the settling stage. There's no like three foot tile we could have settled on to build our warrior immediately, which just means we want it to be close to this holy site. So some extra growth of our borders. Basically we only need the barracks, the warrior and mobilize to finish this challenge. So that's why we will be aggressively getting rid of everything else. Agriculture is great because it gets us to our mobilize through horseback riding, but it also allows us to get a farm to get our growth up because we're on a hill with no food, which is very bad. Plus farms are just amazing buildings. You pay three hammers to get either three food or two food and two gold per turn. It's just an amazing return on investment. That was the best tile to build a farm, by the way. There was the only tile with three food. And there's no tile with food and gold, which would be great. Uh, we can also advance in our writing a little bit. We want to get through military tactics to barracks, so we can keep that for the next turn. We won't have the hammers to build the warrior next turn, so we might as well shove it back into the deck. Hopefully not be able to see it. So we won't need any of these cards, so we can get rid of them. What is important though is to crack our military tactics before we reshuffle our deck because we kind of want both barracks and charge in case we have to attack quickly onto the enemy city. And this just means if we take the barracks, charge gets shuffled into the deck and we have one whole rotation of our deck before to get to it faster. We also won't be needing this food we would like to have two science, so we can like use the horseback riding in one turn, but we cannot get to two science this turn, so we just might as well toss it away. Okay, here's our horseback riding. We won't be needing either of these. So we want to get our set trap. Okay, it's here. Just like one tile later than we would want it, because now we don't have the the rocks to build the barracks here, but we can use our hammers to get through the horseback riding and get mobilized. We can keep these two cards because we're going to be needing them next turn when we build our warrior there. And we probably also want to move from the water tile to the hill tile. We don't really need the extra food and hammers basically just better, better gold. You can always convert hammers to gold. You cannot convert gold to hammers. Although there are some cards that need gold, like uh, like charge. Unless you have a horse, but unfortunately there are no horses on this map that we can reach. Okay, so you won't be needing a farm or a library or an agrarian society. You won't, we will be wanting the barracks. Here's the charge, still no warrior, probably want to sell this food for gold. Okay, there's the warrior, so that's five for barracks, two for warrior, three for mobilize, you can only get to this hill. You never want to issue a move command to the hill. You 
always want to use the attack order because attacks order attack orders go before move orders so in case like an enemy settler wants to move here they would bar our way if we use the move command but with the attack command we get there first which is obviously great I'm not sure if you're gonna be needing to charge next turn maybe you'll have to make another warrior and charge it and mobilize it so we'll just keep it in our hand Okay, this looks great. There's only one settler there. Which means we might be able to conquer the city this turn. Let's get the attack order. I feel like the AI is kind of unlikely to build like a scout when we are so close with the warrior already. So we won't need another warrior to scare them away. Uh, which means we don't really have much to do anymore. But uh, there was another holy site right here, so what we can do is just get to it with our set trap. Sell some cards. Okay, there it is. So next turn we can get it. And we can probably grow this city. And maybe even buy something else, like maybe the fish. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So let's end the turn. And nothing was built on the mecha, so we have finished our challenge. Now it's just about getting some extra points we kept one card so we can trash it for the extra bonus I mean, trash your first card in the turn we won't be needing a science once we claim the city we will lose all this gold so we want to spend it before that probably on pearls so the city will not be starving so let's claim it okay we can put in This, then like the food to grow it we actually even have an extra luxury so now we can claim this part I guess even buy an extra extra peril not that it does much and that should be it maybe there's like a chance to grow this city no we don't have any free food tile here this also doesn't yeah we are like one foot away on either of these cities to grow them but that's just fine end the turn now and we should be victorious Persia defeated and there it is victory in six turns thanks for watching see you next time